Hello friends, this is Sala and you are watching Smart Code. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the .NET Cursor class. It's a very cool class that represents the image used by the mouse pointer. And by using this class, you can assign different mouse pointers to different controls. We will do some experiments with the Cursor class. .NET provides a rich collection of ready-to-use cursors and we are going to apply some of them. And then we will learn how to create our own cursor using Visual Studio. You can even download your favorite cursor file from the internet and use it to your program. I will show you how to do that. And if you want, so you can use any image as cursor. And we will try that out as well. As you can see, I have four different text boxes on the form and we will use them to assign different cursors and we will experience the cursor change while moving mouse pointer from one text box to another okay we will first look the dotnet cursor collection that means ready to use cursor provided by the dotnet just register a form with event so that we can code and here we go now we will choose a different cursor from the dotnet collection and assign it to our form so this dot cursor Okay, so here you see this is a cursor class. This represents the form. We are using the cursor property of the form. And here you see all the ready to use cursor that you can choose and assign to your form. Let's suppose if I choose here move no move today, just select this one, and now this cursor is basically assigned to the form. Let's run the program. And here you see the form has now no move to the cursor. Okay. You can check some other cursor. Like uh, we have a cursor, wait cursor. You can use the wait cursor to inform the user that a process is currently running, for example. So let's run the program. And here you see. The wait cursor okay is applied to your form. So form has a cursor property that we are using, and all the controls derived from the control class have cursor property. That means we can assign a specific cursor to these controls. Now, for example, I'm gonna assign a different cursor to this text box. So I can write the name of the text box, which is text box one and cursor and here we're going to choose a different cursor like hand now let's run the program and here you see our first text box has a different cursor and the form has a different cursor okay so this is how you can use dotnet ready to use cursors you can even design your own cursor using Visual Studio and for that you need to open a cursor file. Just right click on your project name, click add and then new item and you will find a cursor file. Here you go. Again, so here you have a cursor file. Cursor file has a .cur extension and we are going to name it my cursor. Just add the cursor file to your project. And here you see the cursor file. Cursor file opens in image editor. And here you see the options. And by using these options, you can design your own cursor. You can design a simple cursor like it will look like something. Okay, so it's a very simple cursor design. Now we need to save the changes. Click the file menu and choose save as my cursor file. Okay, and this file we are gonna save in the debug folder. Okay, so just click the save button. 
and now the file is ready to use and we're going to assign that cursor to the second text box so we will write text box two dot cursor new now we are uh, fetching the external file in our program so we will call a constructor cursor class constructor and name of the file again okay. so that's done now run the program and uh, here you see the cursor we just created okay so now we have three different cursor form had its own cursor textbox one own cursor and then the textbox two own cursor okay so if you want so you can download a cursor file there are lots of cursor files you can find on the internet and you can use it in your program by using this statement you just only need to change the name of the file here and lastly you can use any image you like as a cursor the only restriction is that you cannot use the animated images again okay? because the cursor class doesn't support animated cursor now let's suppose i have a image again okay, in my c drive and this is my picture uh, having extension jpg and i'm going to use this one as a cursor you see the image okay so how can i do that uh, i first need to create the bitmap of that image and adjust the size image source my pick Okay, so here I'm creating a bitmap object of my file, okay, of my image. And here I am mentioning the dimensions. Again, okay, a cursor file has 16 into 16 uh, dimension. It's a very small size. Okay, so I'm mentioning the size here. Now I'm going to use this bitmap as a cursor. Okay, I'm assigning it to the text box 3. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are using a get h icon method. It's a bitmap class method, and that method converts a bitmap to icon. Okay, so we cannot assign the bitmap directly as a cursor. We need to change the bitmap to icon before we are passing it to the cursor class. Our program is almost ready. Let's give it a run. And now, here you see my own image as a cursor. Okay, it's applied to the text box. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching.